Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the 5x5 Paraminx. Let's get started. So in my video last night, I did showing the, I put in these inners like the green and blue here on the inners. Green and red like that. Red and blue like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, the outer corners here. So uh, what we do is we look here, the green, and, the green and blue, green and blue's in, but it's backwards. So this is not the right one. So we look on the top, there's a green and blue here. And the way to check to see if it's the right one, just generally, normally, you could do this and bring this down. And that matches like that everything. Because sometimes... Sometimes what will happen is you'll have this green and blue up here and this one also. So it could be confusing and you could end up putting in the wrong one. So that's just a good way to check to see if you got the right one. So we're going to do that. We're going to put in these edge corners all the way around. Let's get started. So we'll do a down and then a down. Down like that. Down with the big piece, bring this up, bring this back up. So we took out this yellow piece here, and it's right here, so we'll bring this over here, like that. Bring this up, bring it back over so it matches, and then we bring it down so it's back in place. And we put in our edge corner. And like I was showing in the video yesterday, the key is you got to put in these inners first, like that green and this blue here, before you put these in. Otherwise, uh, you're going to keep having to do this over and over because this piece is going to keep coming out. So that's the best way approach to do it. So we have green and red here. The green and red's in, but it's backwards. So we'll look on top, see if there's a uh, green and red. There's not. Here's a green and red. Uh, this is probably the one that needs to go over here. So we'll do the red and blue for now because we have the blue and red corner here. Look on top. See, we have two blue and reds. There's one here, one here. So. That's what I was talking about to check it. So we'll just do that really quick. See which one is the right one. Nope, that's not the right one. So we'll move this one over. This should be the right one. We'll check it. That's the right one. Okay. Okay, same move. We're going to do the same move again. Down. And then we bring this big piece down like that bring this up up we pulled the yellow piece out bring it over to the side here we'll bring this big piece up here bring this over bring it down okay so we got our corner in the blue and red um just got to do the green and red so here's the green and red this will be the right one so we'll do the same move again, down, down, up, up, bring the yellow and red over here, like that, bring this big piece up, connect it so it matches, bring it down. So now we put in the green and red, so that's... You could do it. There's other ways to do it, too. You could do the soon move where you do the right, up, right, invert. But it, I think this is an easier method. I mean, for at least for me, this is an easier method to put these in. Um, you know, just figure to show a different way to do it. So, yeah. So I just want to do a quick tips tutorial on just these, just to show you step by step how to do this. And, you know, to check to see if it's the right one, match it up stuff like that okay so thank you for joining me for this tips tutorial on the 5x5 paraminx it's the uh yushin one 
And this is an excellent one. The reason why I say that is because usually uh, bigger puzzles like this, they, a lot of times they just overshoot. But the nice thing about this one is it's got a clicking mechanism. Like that. And it's very, very smooth. So, I mean, I think this is an excellent one. They have the older versions of the Professor Paraminx and stuff like that. And I have I have the 4x4 four four Master Paraminx, one like the older one, like that. That style, and it's not good. It's very sloppy. It overshoots, and it's just hard, a little hard to turn in a way. But this Yushin made an excellent one because it's... The clicking mechanism is great. It just sort of like falls into place. It's not hard to turn. You know, it really doesn't catch. So it's, you know, I, I highly recommend this if you ever decide to get a puzzle like this, a 5x5 Paraminx. This is an excellent one. I was very happy with this. It's just really, really good quality. Very solid. So... It's Saturday here in Chicago. I have my new coffee, McCafe, McDonald's, and I'm loving it. And I still have plenty left. So, yeah, thank you for joining me for this tips tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll be happy to answer you. And thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And uh, happy Saturday, everyone. Have a great day.